Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Kiran Bendigiri from Graphosis IAS. In this video, let's have a look at 7th Standard Environment, first chapter. Environment is our basic life support system. It provides the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and the land where we live. The car fumes pollute the air. Water is collected in a pot, food is served in vessels, and land is used to build factories. Human beings make cars, mills, factories, and manufacture containers. This is how human beings modify natural environment. So, environment provides all the basic uh, uh, support system and uh, we uh, in turn pollute it and uh, we use uh, uh, resources to produce uh, uh, the commodities. Uh, this is how we modify our natural environment. Components of environment. So, so there are uh, several components of uh, environment like natural, human made and all. So what are those? Let's look at it. Uh, what are uh, natural components? Those are uh, water. Uh, it is called uh, hydrosphere, air, atmosphere, land, lithosphere, living things, biosphere. Human made components, parks, building bridges, uh, buildings and uh, bridges. Uh, roads, industries, monuments and also human, individual, family, community, religion, uh, educational, economic, political, situation. These are all uh, components of our environment. Biotic, the world of living organisms. Example, plants and animals. So, biotic means bio life. We have seen in uh, earlier class books that bio means life right so what are those plants and animals abiotic means uh, which is not having life that is land stone water air anything from the above conversation you understand that the place people things and nature that surround any living organism is called environment so anything which is around us uh, any particular living organism uh, that surrounding is called environment. It is a combination of natural and human made phenomena. While the natural environment refers to the to both biotic and abiotic conditions existing on the earth, human environment reveals the activities, creations and interactions among human beings. So, the environment consists of uh, natural and uh, human made phenomena, uh, whatever the human has constructed like cars, roads, buildings, etc. So, it is the combination and uh, environment also refers to uh, the uh, coexistence of uh, biotic and uh, abiotic things. Natural environment, land, water, air, plants and animals comprise the natural environment. You are familiar with the meaning of lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere and biosphere from your previous class. Let us learn some more facts about these domains. Lithosphere is the solid crust or the hard top layer of the earth. So we have seen uh, different uh, things uh, in uh, previous class that is uh, lithosphere, uh, hydrosphere, atmosphere and uh, biosphere. So let's learn more about it. Lithosphere means the solid crust that is uh, on the uh, uh, top layer of the earth and that consists of uh, rocks, minerals and uh, soil etc. It is an irregular surface with various landforms such as mountains, plateaus, plains, valleys etc. Landforms are found over the continents and also on the ocean floors. So landforms is not only on the continent that is visible uh, for us 
uh, directly uh, uh, it is also on the ocean floors right so we have seen many irregular surface like mountains plateaus plains valleys etc lithosphere is the domain that provides us forests grasslands for grazing land for agriculture and human settlements it is also a source of mineral wealth so it has provided uh, different uh, uh, things like uh, forest grasslands and uh, land for agriculture and human settlements it is also source of mineral wealth minerals like uh, fossil fuel or any metals uh, non metals iron copper aluminum like that environment french word environner meaning neighborhood right so environment it is derived from french word the domain of water is referred to as hydrosphere it comprises various sources of water and different types of water bodies like rivers lakes seas oceans etc it is essential for all living organisms so hydrosphere means uh, it uh, consists of all the things like uh, rivers lakes seas oceans glaciers etc right Uh, it is essential for uh, living organisms the atmosphere atmosphere is a uh, is the thin layer of air that surrounds the earth the gravitational force of the earth holds the atmosphere around it it protects us from the harmful rays and scorching heat of the sun so it protects us from rays uh, you know that uh, uh, ozone uh, prevents uv rays uh, and also the heat from the sun and uh, a thin layer is uh, surrounding our earth and it is uh, around the earth due to gravitational force it consists of a number of gases dust and water vapor so you might have heard about oxygen carbon dioxide hydrogen these are the number of gases uh, and uh, dust uh, and water vapor right the changes in the atmosphere produce changes in the weather and climate so the composition uh, of the atmosphere changes and uh, the weather also changes like uh, uh, you might have observed in cities in cities uh, the carbon oxides or nitrogen oxides are uh, more compared to villages so uh, there is a change in weather and climate plant and animal kingdom together make biosphere or the living world it is a narrow zone of the earth where land water and air interact with each other to support life so plant and animal kingdom so uh, these are uh, living things which together form biosphere right so again uh, one more point the narrow zone of the earth where land water and air interact so these three things interact and uh, at this place plant and animal kingdom exists ecosystem it is a system formed by the interaction of all living organisms with each other and with the physical and chemical factors of the environment in which they live all linked by transfer of energy and material so remember ecosystem ecosystem means it is formed by interaction of all living organisms remember interaction of all living organisms with each other right and with the physical and chemical factors of the environment in which they live uh, these are linked by 
transfer of energy and material so we are going to study about more in uh, future right all plants animals and uh, human beings depend on their immediate surroundings often they are also interdependent on each other this relation between the living organisms as well as the relation between the organisms and their surroundings form an ecosystem so this whole things form an ecosystem there could be an ecosystem of large rainforest grassland desert mountains lake river ocean and even a small pond so this is uh, we can say as uh, this as uh, uh, one small ecosystem grassland this is one a ecosystem desert one ecosystem like that right barter system it is a trade in which goods are exchanged without the use of money so it was the oldest uh, system in which uh, uh, goods were exchanged without the use of money like uh, if i give one rice uh, one kg of uh, rice to you you will give one kg of wheat to me like that uh it is uh, uh, still uh, this system is still followed in some parts of our uh, villages human environment human beings interact with the environment and modify it according to their need early humans adapted themselves to the natural surroundings they led a simple life and fulfilled their requirements from the nature around them with time needs grew and became more varied humans learn new ways to use and change environment they learn to grow crops domesticate animals and led a settled life the wheel was invented surplus food was produced barter system emerged trade started and commerce developed industrial revolution enabled large scale production transportation became faster information revolution made communication easier and speedy across the world a perfect balance is necessary between the natural and human environment humans must learn to live and use their environment in a harmonious way so what happened before uh, in the earlier uh, stages uh, in the earlier uh, in the history humans adjusted to the natural environment later because of his uh, uh, of his more need uh, he began to uh, domesticate animals grow crops and he tried to uh, modify the environment around him uh, the barter system emerged uh, trade started commerce developed industrial revolution transportation information uh, technology improved so a perfect balance is necessary between natural and human environment right uh, to maintain a perfect balance we have to learn how to use our environment in a harmonious way right uh, so this is the end of the chapter thank you